Okay, this is part two for the young ladies who um, are high, who are afraid to leave home and venture out and have left home and it didn't work. Try it again. Keep trying and trying and trying. When a chicken has to come out of the egg or chicklings or whatever you call those things, they try to walk but their little legs are too wobbly. You ain't learned nothing. You've been at, at home and you don't know much because you haven't been taught, you know, as far as how to budget money. And then all of a sudden you're given a lot of money. You're out here buying friendship. You're too good for this shit. You're too good. Oh my God, you're too good. Whew. You are way too good for the stuff you go through. You're too good to buy friendship. You're too good to sell your body. You're too good to waste your life. You're depriving us. You're depriving the world of who you could be so that you could um, encourage somebody else. You're ashamed of being dark like a fool because we Black people in America have been hoodwinked and brainwashed that dark is ugly when actually dark is the most powerful um, it's the most powerful melanin that you can have um, everybody is praising light skin light skin but it's the dark skin that's really beautiful and it's the dark skin that has the most power. You're the most intuitive. And I mean, for your personality, you're the sweetest. You're the most fun to be around. You're active. You're silly. You're crazy. You're serious. You keep it real when you talk. You're just too good to deprive us of all of that. Drinking every day, knowing you got ulcers. Or knowing you got any kind of health problem oh, you're taking yourself away from us every day every day that you do that oh man any dis-ease in your body could cause a disease and I don't want you to wake up one day and say to yourself, damn, life was worth living. Now I got to go. Because most people, I know from me, myself, when I was 20-something years old, I was so uncomfortable in my skin. I was uncomfortable in this world. I had nothing. You know, just wish things would go this way. Not knowing how to take the bull by its horns and get things to go the way you need them to go. These days, it's so much better because there's the internet. I think I would have bumped my head a few less times if I would have had the internet. There's so many positive people on YouTube and so much. It's, this is the information age, as you already know. So, Please don't give up. Don't give up on yourself. Um, there is a lot of stuff being pushed at you. Like homosexuality is being pushed by the media. Color stereotypes are being pushed by the media. Her hair is cute. Um... I don't even look at TV. And when I do look at TV, I can see just what the fuck is going on. Like I looked at TV for the first time. I was at somebody's home and a commercial played. And it was about this black lady uh, who needed something done to her house. And um, he, he, she needed something done to her house. And then they said, she needs this done. She has the money. Um, 
and she knows who to call. And then they had this white guy come. They said, call somebody you know you can depend on. Call somebody you can trust, who you know you can trust. And that's just basically saying, that's just social engineering. Just making black, weak black women feel like, oh, you can only trust white men. I see the, uh, Serena Williams on the cover of some damn magazine um, calling her a badass. But what makes her a badass um, other than tennis? Why all of a sudden is she a badass? Because she had a mixed race child and a, married a white man. And that's another thing. Don't have a baby. Don't think that you're going to have a baby and then go to school and then go to work. Because you may not be able to even do it like that. I think a, bump, a mosquito bit me. But um, once you have a baby, it's hard to do anything. It's hard to find the right type of babysitter. If you bring a baby in this world and you don't have the right type of babysitter, then your child could be sexually molested. This is a sick, sick, sick world out here. And you need to get yourself together. Because you are beautiful. And I mean, just the way you act and stuff, people will be glad. If a guy come along who don't appreciate you, get rid of him. Because you have certain standards that you have to be treated by. You have to know, okay, I expect to be with a guy who has potential.